Oh, I'm Na so excited. Namely, namely Mars Light and the best doubles team here and probably top 10 of the world, Pelka Kiwi. However, neither of those players are on the screen right now. We got Demon Unleashed versus Sefi and Don. Sefi and Don coming up from uh, Connecticut. That they're, uh, they're a pair, they're a couple. So that obviously leads to a lot of good doubles. Yeah, synergy. and my fellow uh, shiny cardboard enjoyers uh, for the Pokemon TCG. So, but uh, none of that here. Again, we're going to have them going up against DM and Unleashed here. Uh, Unleashed rocking the Sora. Although, can play a, a plethora of characters as well. Uh, but so far, it's looking like a real party right now for the uh, Ooh, and yeah, Unleashed. That side B. Sefi right off the top with that side B. And now we've got all the players bunched up in the corner. Just really scrapping on this scramble right now. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tough draw here for Zelda. Now, the best part, the good part about teams is that you are able to mask a lot of your character's weaknesses when there are double the characters on the screen. Hello! Oh, baby, a triple with yeah, the parries right and there. And able to put one more player into the mix, just throwing out night. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> it's a five-player game. True. And when Zelda's involved. But just like that, the blue team going to go down a quick two stocks here. And I think the X Factor here is definitely going to be unleashed. Holding on to that, uh, that first stock here. Some 50% still. So definitely something to keep in mind here in terms of resource management. And there we go. The quick one-two and a buckle my Keyblade with the up smash. So that is going to quickly put the blue team in an even deeper hole. Yeah, three, four, at just F smash, just F smash on these. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> I mean, there you go. Nice little opportunity here for the blue team. They uh, did have DM and a recovery opportunity. So, you know, teams 101, go for the 2v1 when you have the opportunity. But just like that, getting on the board here. But they're going to have to do a uh, play that's pretty close to the vest here. You know, Sefi already sitting at 70%. You know, with the potent kill power of the Aegis, you definitely have to be mindful. Yeah, Unleashed first stock still hanging on there despite Sora's relatively lightweight. And just as I say that, going to get launched off the side, but I don't oh, think that, I don't think so. Oh, 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 what, what, was that, was that Mario Forward there? Hey, it looked like it. Ooh, yeah, but yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of sparks going on there. All right, so a little bit of a uh, mashing happening in the corner right there, but, you know, let's see. As most of these characters on screen do. They do be mashing. But let's see if that, what, what uh, Don can pull out here. You know, Mario, definitely a, a fickle character to try to hit, but, you know, when you have to pit him against two characters, there's really good disjoints. It could be a little bit difficult. Oh, brother. Just going to run off and throw out that down air. Just ending Don's final stock in that first game. Uh, that's a, that was a pretty commanding game there. Yeah, no, that was uh, looking all red team. Uh, again, just DM, uh, you know, just playing super offense right there. You know, definitely being the point of attack. Uh, as we see, the, 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 they keep that thing on them. You know True. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Don't leave home without it. We're also hearing some uh, cheers for Dawn in the crowd currently, too. I wish we had a crowd mic for this, dude. The crowd at Shine is always loud and yeah. just amazing. Yeah, don't get it, don't get it, you know, twisted, folks. The seats might be a little, maybe a little vacant out there, but it is loud in the venue right now. Oh, you know, absolutely. Everybody's, you know, showing up again. It's, you know, no... It's going to be a talking point all weekend. This is the last of the Shine series, so, you know, definitely going to try to go out with a bang. As we'll see what the uh, what Don and Sefi uh, <laughs> uh, try to do here, as they're kind of talking it over uh, stage wise. And DM looking like a grown man on the corner over there. My God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. D DM's done a lot of growing, and he and he's definitely become so much, so much of a better player. Yeah. As well, yeah. You know, and famously a Pikachu player for a long time, but you know, since the age just came out, you know, a couple years ago, it's really gravitated towards uh, them as a character, which you know, not a bad choice. And not to mention the Steve as well. So, That's true. Yeah. So he's got no shortage of top tiers to pick from here. Uh, so, but it looks like we're going to be sticking with the same team as last game. Here we got Aegis, we got Sora, we got Zelda, and we got Super Mario. You can tell me Zelda's a, uh, a character from either Kingdom Hearts or Xenoblade, and I believe you. Yeah, just just looking at her design here. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I believe more, more on the Kingdom Hearts side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't have enough belts. I don't know. Yeah, true, true. Not really the, <laughs> not really the Nomura style. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, nonetheless, though, let's see if the run back to the Pokemon Stadium will, you know, solve anything here. Steffi, unfortunately, was already kind of putting in a rough spot there. You know, Zelda... One of the hallmarks of the characters that she's a really hard character to edge guard because her recovery is so good, but these huge hitboxes of, uh, you know, Sora and, uh, you know, Pyra are going to make it really hard for her to get back to the stage. I was just going to say, with these huge hitboxes, uh, Pyra uh -huh. is seeing a lot more action in doubles than, than, one, would, than one would expect. Like, yeah. So, because in singles, it's mostly Mithra, because Mithra can just run around, 
Yeah, you definitely know, having, that extra, having that extra mobility definitely helps. Uh, but, you know, again, in a team setting, you know, you don't have to worry about covering yourself as often because your opponent's going to, you know, your team will be there to cover you. Having those huge hitboxes, uh, you know, just the brooding force of, you know, Pyro's definitely going to pay dividends here for the red team. Yeah, and that really goes to show how different the meta is in doubles as well because, yeah. because characters like Ike, characters like Incineroar, all, all have, like, huge, these huge hitboxes or, or just this X factor, mm -hmm. as you mentioned earlier, that just makes them so much of a better character in scrambles like this game. It's basically what you can do when you have a friend by you. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are about even in terms of percentage and stocks here until uh, Steffi does fall victim to that edge guard there. So the blue team down a little bit of a deficit, but if they can get the stock off of, uh, from DM, they're definitely still within arm's reach. But just like that. And a little bit of friendly fire there, but we take those. Yeah, and the stocks are evened up right now, and considering the damage potential that, Mar that Mario has, we could be seeing the percentages even up as well. And, al and also just these, ca these characters have so much ability to, <laughs> to cheese out early stocks. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Ooh, and there we go. Really the F smash will connect right there, so that's going to put the blue team back in the deficit here. Steffi on her last stock. Yeah. Yeah, we are in a pressure cooker situation. This is losers have 16. So, you know, every stock does count. There we go. Yeah. The stairway to heaven. Like I was saying, with the, with those Mario uppers, I think I think he started at like 50, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and that's way harder to get, you know, in a doubles environment because, you know, you have someone there to back you up. Whoa! That was untackable. That was crazy. Yeah, couldn't even save himself from that. All right, so we're even across the board stock-wise. You know, Don definitely looking the healthiest right now. That's going to be huge. You know, as Mario's going to be a, a real important factor in this team's comeback here. But a 2v1 opportunity for the red team. That's going to hope, thankfully, nothing too crazy, you know, to come of it. But Yeah, that was a scary situation from Unleash there, just getting caught in the Mario uppers. But DM came to his rescue, and now this is a very, very even game. Ooh, yeah, unfortunately, a little bit of friendly fire right there. Uh, again, the dash attack going to catch Unleashed. And there he goes. So DM is out. Oh, but Sefi also followed victim here. So it's going to be a 1v1 between uh, Unleashed and uh, Don here. So Yeah, Don just waiting very patiently in shield there, just letting Unleashed tucker himself out on his shield. And I just know that he wanted that up smash. I just know he wanted to up smash him after that. But Sora is so deceptively safe on shield. Yeah, and again, Mario historically struggles against these disjoints. That dash attack is going to... Help break zone against the uh, uh, F smash. There we go. That falling up air will catch right there. And uh, that is going to be game two. Going to uh, DM and Unleashed. And uh, we are in best of five territory right we now. Are we are in best of five territory currently, yeah. So the long road ahead of Don and Steffi, but definitely nothing that can't be done. That game was way closer than, than the first game. Absolutely. Was, so. They were figuring some stuff out, especially, to, especially uh, towards the second half of that game. Uh, if they Ooh. just keep that momentum that they had that they had towards the end of it yeah maybe we can see game four possibly game five yeah you're a couple of misspaced aerials away from you know maybe uh getting yourself on the board here and seeing a game four so like you said gonna have to go about it the long way here let's see uh what we have on board here for uh game three potentially out of you know could see a game four yeah, Don starting off with up throw, down air, down air. That's that. I don't think up throw like last hit of down air into another down air. I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> the more you know. Ooh, here we go. Rapid jab scenario coming out here. Like we mentioned, haven't seen a lot of um, you know Mithra in the set, but you know definitely has a presence for sure. Yeah, but we're right back to Pyra. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. No. Actually, no, please fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fix this character. Wait, don't go back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice spot dodge right there for uh, Don. It, knowing that he was probably going to eat the brunt end of, of a punish right there for that throw. And there we go. The uh, uh, the Phantom making his presence known. Uh, going to get the blue team on the board here. And now big lead uh, you know, for the uh, blue team until Don reaches his demise right there. Whoa! Yeah, Sefi just holding on to her first stock extremely well at their very good maneuvering off stage there um, around Sora's projectiles. And now she's still she's still stuck there, but she's living a little longer. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. That up smash out of shield gonna provide some good opening damage uh, for the blue team here. Sefi Tuna once again, a good job holding on to the stock. Zelda, you know, uh, 
uh, was it got a lot of mileage out of that first stock. So it's just something from Seffi. Yeah, Don was keeping DM extremely busy there while Unleash was just trying to end <laughs> Seffi's stock. Yeah. Because if, because, you know, if both players are just like smell that blood in the water, they're going to want to oh, get yeah. that kill. But that just leaves them open for the other teammate to come in and start wreaking havoc. There you go. Okay. Um Ooh, okay, catching a Sora in between the forward air combos with the lightning kick. It's an excellent setup from Sefi. Uh, you know, the blue team, uh, does she get on the board here? Unfortunately, missing that, uh, potentially what could have been a save right there. Uh, you know, Don losing that sock really early. Hope he doesn't come back to haunt them. Yeah, we're seeing an almost complete reverse from game one where, where um, DM and Unleashed had had the lead with two with two stocks apiece to one stock apiece, but then we had it reversed there. So, but now we're down one stock apiece aside from Sefi. So it, Here we go. Those uh, those mid set conversations definitely helped quite a bit. Yeah, no, you can definitely tell that they, uh, you know, that was a very productive conversation between games. Oh, yeah. you know, right now they're on the cusp of getting on the board here, but again, a last stock situation here. You know, the one saving grace here for the red team is that Dono's at high percent. So now it is a 2v1 against Zelda, not necessarily, you know, the quickest or fleetest foot of character. You know, in disadvantage, it's going to be really, really tough for Steffi to try to, you know, fight her way out of this. Yeah. A, oh! A lightning, a lightning kick up ease would be able to seal this out. Oh, However, no Steffi was just not able to land.